Hey, y'all. It's Crystal Hunsucker. Happy Magnanimous Monday, and welcome to your million-dollar message. Well, we're at the end of the month. We need some strategy. We have got to finish strong, and I am just so excited and so grateful for what is to come in the next couple of months. So let's talk real. Let's talk some strategy, right? So let's just cue in to what's happening. <laughs> it's, it's the end of the April. It's end of April. We're coming into the end of the school year. So we've got what we like to call May Simber. If you've got young kids or graduating kids, May Simber is a real thing. And let's just play it out, right? It it was a month that started out slow because we had extra days and it was uneventful and then you started doing activity and then the kids got the flu, your dog had an emergency visit, the car broke down, you had an unexpected or planned trip and just everything hit at the same time. Does anybody know what I'm talking about, right? And then you literally fall into the mindset, you know what? I don't even care. I'll do it next month. Well, you guys, we have a couple of days to not be, it's time to intervene. It's time to change your thought process. This is not a I will do it next month kind of day, right? It's Monday. We've got two days left in the end of this month. So change your mentality. And I want you to say right now, I do care. Say it. I do care. So whatever it is that you're saying, I don't care, I'll get to it next month, you downplay it, you're telling yourself it doesn't hurt, it's fine. No, you do care. So I want you to say, I care that I'm, I am so close to missing my month's goal, but it's not over yet. And if you acknowledge that you care, the likelihood of you achieving the goal It is going to skyrocket, and you're going to close your month strong no matter how much time is left. The next thing is step out of your feelings and into your action plan. You know, it's time. It's time. (laughs) And time is up on all the fields. We've acknowledged that we didn't care. Then we do care, right? We didn't care, but now we actually do care. And now we are just pumped up and ready to finish strong. Setting goals and achieving goals it is incredibly important because it builds your confidence and you start to realize that maybe you were selling yourself short before. So even with two days left, you can still set out to achieve the goal and you can still do it. So ask yourself, what are the things that are going to bring results? So here's what I want to share with you, what you could do. Decide on your products, what products and services, which is our awesome opportunity and our awesome products that you are going to, how many sales are you going to have and how many recruits are you going to have? Because we still have a few days. Show up on social and start talking. Talk about the benefits of your product. Why? You love this product and demonstrate demonstrate it. Demonstrate this product that you love, but also create some urgency. Why now? Why sign up now? Why purchase now? Why is it important that it's the end of your Mary Kay year that people could support your business? You know what? And let's sprinkle in a little FOMO, the fear of missing out. <laughs> you have until midnight to purchase to grab this deal. I've only got three spots left. Whatever that looks like, create some FOMO with whatever deal you are promoting on social media, in your groups, in your text messages. Create calls of action. We can do calls of action on social media. So how can they place an order or get a hold of you to help them? Because the bottom line is you have to get the momentum going again so that you can roll through that finish line confidently, okay? So where can you share your month-end message? 
social media, whether it be your timeline, your social stories, customer groups, or your email list, okay? Be visible in your network. You have got to be everywhere at one time. So how do you email, call, text message, all of the social media groups, do all of the things. And the last thing that I want to share with you is follow up. Follow up with all the people that you have either gotten in front of or maybe you didn't get in front of. You know, there's that running list of those people that you talk to or have not talked to throughout this month, but you want to leave this month knowing there was no one left to talk to. So go through that. I'm looking at my notes. I'm so sorry. Okay, last but not least, don't sacrifice authenticity for urgency because we want to be authentic, but we've also got to be urgent because we're at the end of the month. So it's crunch time. We are crushing our goals. We're doing all the things, but... Just don't sacrifice what you are authentic about to be hustling, to be urgent. So if you're rushing to meet your method and goals, it's awesome. It's great. You want to reach them. But have that patience. Know that, you know, let's be honest. We don't have to show up with (laughs) direct messages like Oprah handing out our favorite things, right? It's not like... You win 7000 in product and you win. You know what I mean? Like she's like, you win a car, you win a car. You know how Oprah is. You don't have to be Oprah. Be, be a respectable business owner and you're just one whose month maybe slipped away from you. And yes, you have goals in mind, but it's not your neighbor's, neighbor's responsibility to help you meet them. But we are going to show grace to ourselves. We're going to show what we have to offer. You're going to have an offer to share. Do your thing, but be authentic and just be who you are and just know that whatever happens at the end of this month, you are going to vow to repeat what you did this month if it was awesome or you are going to change things up for next month so that you can be your next best. best. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm tongue-tied tonight. All right, you guys. Are you ready to finish strong? Because I know you can. Raise your hands in the air so I can bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May you know that if God is for you, who could be against you? With God on your side, whom shall you fear? May you be like a tree that is planted by rivers of living water, that your leaf will not wither, and whatsoever you do, say it with me, it shall prosper. Have a magnanimous Monday, finish strong, and do what you got to do. Stay authentic, stay chill, do all the things, but know that you are going to finish strong and then you are going to vow to either do what you did this month or do better than you did this month in May. I believe in you. Have a great day.